Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be kicking off anniversary week, throwback week, nostalgia week, whatever you want to call it, where we open up the anniversary sets. Uh, I'm going to upload all five sets uh, in the next couple days, just kind of back to back to back. Uh, had a, took me a little bit to get all, my hands on all of them, uh, unfortunately, but eh, I wanted to get them all kind of done, kind of do a sequential upload. So you'll see one video over each of the next five days, uh, starting with Invasion of Chaos uh, and ending with Legend of Blue Eyes, which is, in everyone's opinion, probably the best. Um, and you'll uh, get to see them as they come out. I'm picking Invasion of Chaos that go first, because uh, it was one of my, when I was younger, one of my favorite sets to open. It's one of the only ones I actually managed to get first edition cards of. I hadn't gotten into Yu-Gi-Oh uh, quick enough uh, to get first edition versions of any of the other sets. So I didn't have any first edition cards or anything else. So I have a first edition Insect Princess uh, Ultra Rare, which was one of like my best pulls I ever got when I was like 10. So um, I'm picking this one to go first. It was one of my, one of my best sets uh, to open when I was younger. Um, maybe not the best overall. Uh, didn't have any fantastic pulls. I never got a Black Luster Soldier or a Chaos Emperor Dragon or anything. Um, I do have a couple copies of uh, Dimension Fusion, but they're all reprints. Uh, but hopefully we'll get something good. Like I said, never got Blacklist Soldier, never got Chaos, Emperor Dragon, and I've never gotten Dark Magician of Chaos. Um, so maybe we'll get one of them here. And Dimension Fusion obviously is never a bad card to get. It's a great card even in the modern day. Um, so we'll see what we get. We'll jump into them uh, and like I said, we'll, we'll hold out hope. You can get both secret rares. Invader of Darkness is not as good as uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, but we'll take anything we can get. Nothing's guaranteed in these old sets, which is half the fun of it. But it's what we've all been waiting for. So we'll fly through these. We're not gonna do any pack tricks. Um, and we'll just go through and see what we get. So take a good look here. We got. Robin Zombie as a rare. We got Manju of the 10,000 Hands. Grin Manju de Aiza is a fantastic card to play, uh, especially in, uh, in Master Duel. Some pretty good strategies with that. Ryu Koki, Borderline, Burning Algae. We've got Earth Chant. We've got a Mataza the Zapper is our rare yellow luster shield, self-destruct button, great meme card there, DNA transplant and energy drain. I need to check the ban list if self-destruct button is actually banned. Curse seal, prickle fairy, pinch hopper. We got stray lambs and granadora, so we're not gonna get anything. Here, promise seed. Give you guys a look at the cards. So, without guaranteed rares, I would not buy any of these packs individually. Again, so this is going to fall victim to the old style problems. These are all scalable packs. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there's a skip. Let's go. We've got Black Lesser Soldier Envoy with the beginning. An absolute great pull. Now, I wish I could get some good lighting on it. But never got to pull this before. We'll treat this as if I was getting a first edition card. We'll pretend these are brand new, right? Look at that. That is a good card. That is beautiful. I got a little bit, a little bit too uh, quick on the pulls there on the on the sliding out, so we we skipped right to it. But didn't take us long. To, oh dang it! Nothing happened there. That's just pretend that didn't happen, guys. So that's our, our first pull here. I wish I can get it a little bit better focused, but there's a lot happening. So we'll set that aside. First pull of the video. Listen, that, that's what I'm looking for. If I can get a Chaos Emperor Dragon in this, in this box, then I'm good, because I've already got a couple copies of Dimension Fusion, like I said. So I'm just looking at this point with these boxes, I'd love to get kind of all those cards that I've not gotten to pull before. And like, honestly, BLS 
Oh, forgot to change its appearance. Death Kangaroo. Chaos End and Dimension Distortion. I don't really need to go through. You, like, you take a look at these sets, and these, there's only like 60-something cards in many of these sets. So it's kind of amazing how small the, the actual set sizes are. And we're going to play some Ojamas. Ojama Delta Hurricane. We got Fuma Shuriken. <gasps> Let's go! We got Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. So we've got both of them. I, I mean, I'm I'm like six packs in, eight packs in. I don't know where I'm at, but I, can I say can I get a Dark Magician of Chaos now? I mean, everything I I don't have. Look at this. This is this is hit after hit. Beautiful. Definitely still banned, right? <laughs> banned as of like Edison format for sure, but and they're they're in good quality. Probably a little bit of damage to the corner, or maybe that's just a little flake. But if we can just keep pulling from the anniversary sets like this, we don't need to see the rest of those cards. We're we're on a streak. Dark Magician of Chaos, maybe. I mean, I'll take Dimension Fusion. I've got like three copies of it that I've pulled from reprints. We got Samurai, Grin Maju. Those are all just going to be remaining out. We've got Ojama Delta Hurricane was in that as well. I I mean, I've never pulled, you know, Dark Magician of Chaos. I mean, I'm on my first stack here, so I don't know how these boxes, like, there's no guarantees on anything in these. I don't know if they maybe redid things, Konami did or anything. So, but there's no guarantees in any of these packs. And there's no guarantees in the boxes. But if they want to throw me a Dark Magician to Chaos at this point, I I'm not going to complain. Chain Disappearance, Fenrir. So all just gonna wrap that out with rares. I mean, I'm only one stack, I'm not even one stack deep at this point. Gigantes, Don Turtle, Molten Zombie, Berserk Gorilla, Griffin Feather Duster. I see, see guys, what well, I was saying, Invasion of Chaos was my favorite when I was a kid. And this, this is why. Blasting the Ruins is a fun meme card. Smashing Ground. Oh, the Yeet. Compulsory Evacuation Device. Be gone, Knave. Compulsory Evac Device. It's a fantastic trap card. Very useful. Very good to play. Highly recommend having a copy uh, in the deck. Very, very useful. Can bounce. Not only your opponent's monsters, but can use it on your own to avoid Curse of Darkness. And then we got a super rare Omega Fortress of Darkness. Never bad, never bad. But some pretty good strats with uh, that, but I call it the Yeet. Can you yeet that monster? Sylphid, Zero Gravity, Earth Chant, Lakunga, Trap Jammer. We got another super rare. Getting a couple, it's been, we're not getting many super rares though, to be fair, we're, they're few and far between, that's okay. We've got two of the most overpowered cars, cars, cards, in the, uh, the early formats before banlist hits. We've got Dark Triceratops, and then Ojama Delta Hurricane, so nothing there. Demok. Give me a Demok. Only thing I've never gotten out of IOC. Fiend's Hand Mirror. Witch Doctor. We got Inferno. Mataza. Yellow Luster Shield. Blasting the Ruins. Stealth Bird. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Pinch Hopper. And we got Fuma Shuriken and Dez Kangaroo. Her 
Earth Chant. We got Zero Gravity. Getsu Fuma. Oh, Levia Dragon Daedalus as an Ultra. Non-guarantee pull. We'll set that bad boy aside. Not up there in the highest ranks of pulls. Still a decent card uh, to get non-guaranteed. I have a uh, I have a secret rare copy of that from something. Don't know where I got that from. Maybe uh, Yugi. Uh, there's our second secret rare. We got Invader of Darkness. I've got two copies of this bad boy already. Non-guaranteed. So the box has two secret rares in it. Let's. So four, four ultras or better, and I've got seven packs left. It looks like. Listen, I mean, unless we get a D mock, I mean, we're not gonna top. DD Scout Plane as a super. That's non guaranteed. That's good. We're not gonna top those first two though. Invader of Darkness is the worst of the two secret rares, by far, obviously. When you, when you stack it up next to next to that Chaos Emperor Dragon's Trade Lambs, Griffin Feather Duster wraps us up there. Starting us off strong, Lord Poison. We got Prickle Fairy, Chaos Sorcerer, Curse of Darkness, Be Gone, Knave. Three packs left. Be interesting to see if we uh, keep this same rate, if we do get good pulls on the later boxes, kind of matching up the uh, the secrets. If they do at least put one secret in every box, if we just got lucky here. I mean, we're talking sixty dollar boxes, so you, you figure they got to be giving you something. We got Robin Zombie, Tower of Babel, and I don't know why I'm looking at those. All right, last pack, last pack magic for a Demock or Dimension Fusion. Inferno, we got Coach Goblin, we got Destruction Ring, and Soul Tiger. We did not pick up anything in the last one, but. We've got two non-guaranteeds here. So we did get one of the secret rares, Invader of Darkness, and we got Leviah Dragon Daedalus, which is a non-guaranteed ultra. But we hit strong at the beginning of the pack. We picked up both of the Envoy cards. We got Black Cluster Soldier, Envoy of the beginning, and Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the end. So we started off strong for Legacy Week, Anniversary Week, with IOC giving us great cards. So, I appreciate it. Smash the like button for these two cards. Uh, make sure to smash subscribe as well. And we'll catch you in the next video tomorrow. Uh, let's see. We're probably going to open. I think we're opening up uh, Spell Ruler next. Uh, and we'll see if it meets uh, the same expectation. Catch you in the next one. See ya.